hey everyone hello the topic of today's video is living things and non-living things for class 2 so what are actually living things we have a surrounding where we live a lot of things around us makes our surroundings whether it is living or whether it is non-living our surroundings means the trees the animals the birds the humans are all a part of living basically things. surroundings means the place our locality nearby places whereas the non-living things around us are the books the bed the buildings the clothes and a lot of things like pen pencil television a lot of things around you that you see in your surroundings so we have living and non-living things around us everywhere. Living things are the things that have life. What is life? That is living, that is breathing. Example, human beings, plants, animals, birds, etc. All are living. And what about the non-living things? The non-living things are the things that do not have life, things that do not breathe, things we can use, things around us in our surroundings such as rocks, table, chair, bag, bottle, bus, etc. Living things need a good environment to survive and live. What is actually environment? The surroundings. The area where we live so living things need a good environment so what is actually environment environment means all the things around us whether they are living or non-living environment and surrounding is the same example animals trees plants soil water television bed table whether it's living or non-living includes the environment or the surroundings where we live in and now what about the things that living thing can do living things can breathe they can survive they can move from one place to another they can show and have emotions like sad happy anxious scared and a lot more they can be excited as well moving from one place to another breathing and having emotions and what else living things can grow they grow even plants plants are a part of living things living things can grow they can be bigger and bigger they can eat oh my god living things can eat and they can also die they give birth and they die they reproduce reproduce means giving birth to their young ones living things can give birth to their young ones and they even die whereas non-living things such as table chair the clock our slippers our shoes a scissor a bottle an umbrella and what not the bed where we sleep are all a part of non-living things. So what are the things non-living things cannot do? Non-living things cannot eat. Can your bed eat something or a bottle or the cupboard or an umbrella? So they cannot eat, they cannot feel and they cannot move. They cannot move from one place to another. Can your books move from one place to another? Uh-uh, no. So, Some living things cannot eat, feel, move. And what else? They cannot even grow. They cannot breathe. They cannot die. And they cannot reproduce. So, non-living things are the opposite of living things. Non-living things are characterized into two. One is the natural things and one is the man-made. But what are these? Natural and man-made? Man-made are things 
that are made by human beings they are the non living things made by human beings such as the books the crayon the fan the buildings the aeroplanes etc everything includes non living man made things that we see around us that are made by man and what about natural things that nature has provided that god has provided us with sun moon the clouds the rain the mountains everything that is naturally occurring are natural things such as water river even the water bodies are natural so non living are characterized into two that is the man made and the natural things that nature has provided so i hope you're clear with the concept of living and non living things that can breathe and that cannot breathe i hope this video was useful for you please do subscribe and share it to your near and dear ones so that they can help other with the concept of living non living man made and natural things and the examples so please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and 